Hi, it's Chef and Builder Judy Pendleton. We're back in the kitchen this morning where we are going to be making our cheesy chicken and rice casserole. This is very easy and we will be using the crock pot casserole for this, okay? This is such a simple dish, you're going to not believe how easy that it is. We started out with one can of cream of chicken soup. I used the Healthy Request uh, can. This is just a 10.3 quarter ounce can. And by the way, you can double this recipe. You also want to use one and a third cups of water. I actually did half a lactose free milk and half water. I like mine to be a little creamier. I like milk in my soups instead of water, so I did the half and half. Again, that was one and a third cups water or half and half. Uh, three quarters of a cup of uncooked regular long grain white rice. It's not instant rice, but regular white rice. Or here I'm using the brown rice because it's healthier for you because it still has the outer casing on. So, um, and this is a parboiled rice, so it's been partially parboiled. And that's my favorite. But definitely go with the white rice if that's what you like. Just the recipe doesn't call for an instant rice since we're using the slow cooker. A half a teaspoon of onion powder. Um, I dehydrate my own and this doesn't have any of the phosphates or the preservatives or anything in it. A quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper and if you want the, salt, the soup itself, if you get the canned soup, it already has salt in it. But I don't have any here. I don't have any here in front of me. But if you make your own cream of chicken soup, you know, can it then um, then of course you would add a little bit of cream to that to cream it up and thicken it up just a little bit or you could add more rice and that would thicken the soup up a bit in that case uh, I just showed you the chicken and my chicken and mushroom home canned soup you could use that as well that would be fine but you can certainly use home can and then here you want to add about a cup and a half to two cups of frozen mixed vegetables and uh, here I had a bag in here in my freezer so instead of using the stuff I had from my garden or any but you can definitely use your dehydrated you can use what you've frozen from the garden this is just a mix of whatever vegetables that you like uh, chopped carrots peas corn and green beans in this one here we have one and a quarter pounds of skinless boneless chicken breast halves okay and um, that's about three to four chicken breast. So this serves three to four people. You can definitely double this. Uh, you can see by the size of this, this, is, this holds more than a nine by 13 inch pan. This holds three and a half quarts. So you can definitely double this recipe. And then you'll need a half a cup of shredded cheese or some other topping on this um, when this is done. And okay, so we've just mixed the soup, the water, the rice, and the onion powder and the salt and pepper and the mixed vegetables and we've just mixed it all here together and again I did part lactose free milk to kind of cream it up a little bit and part water I, I, I made part and part on that okay we gave that a nice mix and now we're just going to layer on our chicken right on top there we go I rinsed my chicken after I thawed it. There's a little piece. I can lay that in there. <laughs> Waste not, want not. Now we don't want to do anything to this, but I might dot this with just a wee bit of butter spray. See? And this just keeps the chicken nice and moist. It gives it a nice flavor. Now you can add whatever spices that you like. I just add a little bit of parsley on here. Oh, I guess I'm about out of parsley. And isn't that really coming together? And nothing could be so easy. I'm telling you, this is so easy. All right, we're going to cook this on low for about five to seven hours, somewhere in there, until depending on, you know, if you've doubled the recipe or not. This single recipe would probably get done in about five, five and a half hours. Um, on high, we're going to do this for three to four hours. And if you double this recipe, again, you can even go on high up to four to five hours for this if you double the recipe. But I just have the single recipe for this, so we're going to go for the three to four hours on high. All right, and we will see you back here then. All right, it's been about three and a half hours, and I'm going to check it, just to be on the safe side. 
watch out for steam this does have the steam vent but you want to watch out for steam so open it away from your face I like that right there oh that looks so puffed up look at that that looks so good look at that and I did spray this with a little bit of the uh, butter flavored Crisco first just to be just to make sure and this cleans up really easily it really does and all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to flake out just a little bit of this right now what we're going to do at this stage is um, we know the chicken's probably done here you can cut it and find out but we can go ahead and sprinkle some cheese on here put this lid back on after we sprinkle the cheese like this and then let it sit for another 15 to 20 minutes and then it'll be done so John are you ready for your supper yet sure okay then yeah. we'll go ahead and sprinkle the cheese on see that's how that works all right here I just have a poultry thermometer I'm going to go ahead and on the side of this it tells you it should be 180 here but see 180 180 degrees and right there I don't know if you can see that right there or not uh, okay oh, it's upside down when that little red line gets over here to 180 or a little hotter we know we're done so you want to put this in the fattest part of the meat right like that right there all right and we're just going to check that temperature without you getting all steamed up come on we've had the lid off for a few minutes it is almost there it probably is there because I had that lid off we can check this one right here as well remember you want to you don't want to eat anything that's under that 180 degree mark okay so a little longer we need to probably go another 15 minutes and then uh, that will be perfect we'll go ahead and put our cheese on here and it'll be ready to eat okay I just washed my hands really well I'm going to turn this down to low and that's going to take about a half a cup or a cup of cheese here and just kind of sprinkle over the top now you all know I like my cheese okay don't say nothing I like my cheese so let's go for a cup and a half of the cheese all right there we go parsley is good for the uh, digestive system and that's why they always serve it at restaurant on your plate it's not just for decoration people it's great for freshening breath it's great for your health parsley does all kinds of good things for you so put that back on you don't even have to clip this back on at this stage we just turn this down to low and we're just going to um, let this go for another 15 minutes and then this will be ready to eat and all right are you ready to dive into this grab a piece of this chicken out of here and some of this rice a wider spoon helps look at that serve this with a salad mm. look at that that is so yummy looking you like the crusty stuff on the side so I'm gonna give him the crusty stuff on the side who doesn't love the crusty stuff on the side? All right, we're gonna let you try this. Okay, John and I are gonna give this a try. Here's a piece of the chicken. Let's see how tender that it is. Oh, look at that. It's under the cheese here somewhere. There's the chicken. See, it's nice and flaky and tender. Feed some of John here. Mmm, great. Mmm. Eating with two hands. John likes to see some of these vegetables and some of this rice. This is pretty hot. I don't want to burn our mouths. Okay. Here's some vegetables and that rice. We're going to give Daddy a try. Blow. Do it to burn you. That's great. Mmm, that is really good. Now I'm going to get me some. <laughs> so what would you give that? I like that, 10. Another 10? I told you I'd get another 10. The double thumbs up from Daddy. Okay, so Daddy gives it a thumbs up. Mommy gives it a thumbs up. That's two thumbs up, folks. So give this one a try. 